Okay, let's do this problem now. Calculate the volume of 44 grams of carbon monoxide at SDP. So the first thing we have to remember, of course, we're looking for volume. So volume of any gas at STB, we know a conversion factor for that from moles. So one mole of any gas at STP equals 22.4 liters of that gas. Okay? But here we don't get moles in this equation. We do get grams though. So carbon monoxide, we have 44 grams of it. But in order to figure out that that means anything, to convert it to moles, we got to know the molecular formula of carbon monoxide. So we have to remember how to name covalent compounds, okay? So carbon monoxide has one carbon and one oxygen, okay? So the molecular weight of carbon monoxide is going to equal one carbon times 12.01 AMU and oxygen, there's one of those, and 16.00 AMU. Okay. So if we add 12.01 plus 16 together, we get 28.01 AMU. And remember, we can make the assumption that one mole of carbon uh, monoxide equals uh, 28.01 grams, okay? So we know that the molar mass of carbon monoxide equals 28.01 grams per mole, okay? So, let's figure out the number of moles of carbon monoxide we have then. So, number of moles of carbon monoxide, remember N means moles, but we know the mass of it, 44.0 grams, and we know the molecular weight, or the molar mass, so all we got to do is multiply that by one mole over 28.01 grams. Grams then cancel, and that gives us the number of moles. So we just take 44 divided by 28.01, and we get 1.5 moles of carbon monoxide. Okay. That's the three sig figs, of course. And then we know, well, we've got the number of moles here, and we've got this conversion factor, one mole equals 22.4 liters, so the volume of carbon monoxide is going to be the number of moles, 1.57 moles, multiplied by this conversion factor here, 22.4 liters divided by one mole. Of course, from that, moles will cancel, and we should get 35.2 liters of carbon monoxide. So, in 44 grams, if you have 44 grams of carbon monoxide, then you've also got 35.2 liters of it.